when puppies are puppies, they get into things. And this first clip is one where Duke the dog decided he loved his choice toy so much, his chew toy so much, he just felt like he had to eat it. Oh. Let's take a look. Let's watch. His name is Duke. What are we going to do with you? Oh, you're just, oh, no. The chances that it's going to come out the other end on its own are very small. You could send them to surgery and have them just remove it. Or alternatively, if we want to try and get it out with the endoscope, which is less invasive, we'll take an x-ray. If, if his stomach is empty, we might be able to see if there's the bone in it. What we're looking at, see right here? Those are the little little rubber parts of the nyla bone that like massage their teeth. That's literally the long part of the bone. I mean, you can't have that bouncing around in your stomach. They were able to go in with an, an endoscope, endoscopy, and pull and that pull out. out so they did not have to oh, do that's any. Oh, great. They didn't which have is, to cut him. And to be able to have that sort of takeaway. Right. Because I would have never thought, I'm like, I hope it passes. Like, I didn't know that they could do that. In what world would something <laughs> this big? It's a little tiny dog. Well, I'm a man, OK? Right. I just, I hope for the okay. best, OK? <laughs> OK. <laughs> I I'm going right? to move right along. <laughs> Okay, the second story, do you need to set that up or just You know, one? all I have to say is our show, we, we do show a lot of things because it's live. We never know what we're going to get. In this next clip, we happen to capture the miracle of life. Oh. This is a horse. I mean, usually they get up within 20 minutes, half hour. They are prey animals designed to be born and run fast. If he tries to stand up like that, he'll just fall over. Typically, we'd like to see them up, even if it needs some assistance or something. But by a couple hours out, the foal should be standing. You know. Is he okay? Yes, he was fine. He was just, he was hours old. And he's, they, they want to get him standing. That is so cute. The takeaway on the show is so wonderful. And it's not, it's unscripted. It is raw. It is real. It's a very emotional show to shoot, too. Yeah. Animal ER Live. How many pets do you have? Two? I have two pets and two teenagers. Uh -huh. Kind which of is, the same. Kind yeah, of the which same. I was going to say which is which, right? <laughs> I have, um, uh, we have Norbert. That's Norbert right there. Oh, my God. Norbert I'm is, Norbert. Um, oh. Norbert is, I'm going to say, my wife will be like, stop telling everybody he's famous. But he has a, a, million, a couple million followers. But he's a therapy dog. And that, he's just, uh, he. Looking at him. He's like a unicorn. Me, yeah. He's, he's a unicorn. He goes to children's hospital and he spends time making oh. those, those little boys and girls feel oh. so much better. Oh. And then there's Fred. That's my golden. Oh, he just That's looks it. like Fred. <laughs> of course his name is Fred. He looks like Fred. He was actually, Hi, he was B-Dog in Spooky Buddies, if you're a friend, oh. you know, and we adopted him from the set, but he's just my little boy, oh. my little Fred. You have to say it like that. when you. Oh, everybody has a voice Fred. for their, for their, for their, for their, for their, for their <laughs> right? You always have to talk differently when you're talking about Fred and stuff like that.